Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I thought I would do a little draw with me. And I'm going to set my alarm for seven minutes. So if you would like to follow along, find an image of something as reference that's royalty free, or think of something in your imagination or something you've been wanting to work on, and pull that up and set your alarm for seven minutes. And we're going to see. <laughs> if I can do this in seven minutes. I don't know that I can. I don't, seven minutes isn't a lot of time at all. It's nothing. So today I'm gonna to be drawing with just one uh, Caran d'Ache, the Luminescence colored pencil. This is the Malachite Green. Its number is 180. Um, you can purchase these individually on uh, Blick, Dick Blick. And I have a couple sharpeners these are both Mobius and Rupert. Um, this is just a wide and a regular. And this one is if you want really sharp tips. All right, I'm gonna set the alarm and I'm gonna keep talking and drawing and see if I can do this. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. All right, so the Mobius and Rupert make a bunch of brass pencil sharpeners and they are wonderful. The reason I ended up purchasing a second one, <laughs> when you're ambidextrous, um, was because I found with these really high-end wax-based pencil, um, colored pencils, like again these Illuminescence and the Polychromos, by Faber-Castell, I found that they're really, really soft and to maintain a really sharp point for huge detail, I was just constantly sharpening them. I could just couldn't get it. So that is why I ended up purchasing a second, a second one. I am drawing on, in case you're wondering, this is just a student grade watercolor paper that I just happen to have already laying out because it's World Watercolor Month and it's rough so you could see the texture. I kind of like it. Um, <laughs> it's not for everybody and that's fine. Do you know what I'm drawing it? Do I know what I'm drawing it? Anyway. Um, I like drawing on textured paper. It's really hard on fine liner pens. Like it wear down, it wears down the tips much faster, and you need to replace them quicker. But I find if I later want to watercolor over something I've illustrated, if I've already drawn it on watercolor paper, then I have I've left that option open to myself, and that saves me time. I don't have to redraw it or do anything like that. So I'm always. I'm always doing that. And this wouldn't be um, a commission I would give anyone. I wouldn't do anything on student grade paper. This is the Fabriano um, block that's student grade. And I'll link, I'll link all these products down below if you're interested in trying the um, Caran d'Ache Luminescence colored pencils. They're very soft very smooth, very buttery. I'm, the hype is there for a reason. I really, I really like them. I do not own the full set for full transparency. I am not made of that kind of money. <laughs> um, if, however, somebody wants to um, purchase that for me as a birthday Christmas gift, I would not say no. That would be awesome. But they are just, I believe uh, when you buy them in the sets, they're cheaper per pencil. But they come in a pack. I think the largest set is 76 and it's still well over $200. And I'm doing everything in US dollar, in case you're wondering where I'm at with that. Um, 
you know what I'm drawing yet. <laughs> it's a bird! I'm just kidding. How's your week going? How was your World Watercolor Month? Are you participating? I'm participating and towards the end, because I don't do a ton of watercolors, but I own quite a few. Because in my mind, I want to be Bob Ross. That was always the end goal in my life. Be Bob Ross, have happy trees, live a cool, quiet life, just painting, enjoying, enjoying the world and nature. Um, I, I get burnt out. Like the burnout is really high for me for World Watercolor Month. And this year I chose to do really tiny watercolors that were oversimplified, like just a blended background that's smooth. And then I go in with the details after that layer dries. It's just a layers game really for me. Um, and that's helped me, keep me from the burnout this year. Where am I at on time? <laughs> Ooh. I should hurry it up, huh? Just a little bit. Anyway. Some years I've done a World Watercolor Month and I've just hours and hours and hours because I'm just not quick with the process. So it's taken me a while. Um, but I do want to get better. So practice is progress, but I have to keep practicing for that to become a reality. And ideally, something like this, I would spend hours working on an illustration of this size and caliber. This is about, I don't know, five inches by five inches. I'm running out of time. And I almost need to sharpen my pencil again. I'm getting to the point where I've completely worn down the tip and I'm running out of pigment. Because again, this is really, really soft. What's your favorite animal? Here, let's see if I can pause this. I'm gonna pause it with 30 seconds to go. See, there's no tip left. Can you see that? Do you have a spirit animal? What's your favorite animal? That looks good. I have 30 seconds left on the clock. 33. You ready? I'm gonna resume it. I don't think I have a spirit animal. Some people think uh, one of my best friends in the world, she says Betty White is her spirit animal and that always makes me laugh so much. Betty White is not my spirit animal. I think I'm more of a plant. I think I require sunshine. I think that's a thing I need in my life. But all right. That's my line in seven minutes. <laughs> Poor baby. I'm going to cheat and keep going. Anyway. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. I hope you guys have a great day and tomorrow will be my um, watercolor sketchbook tour. So I will see you then. All right, bye.